back. Random TV Review, it's your girl in that. And it's your boy, boom, 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 standing live. All right, coming in with Queen Sugar. We're sorry we're a little late. Yeah. Yesterday but was we the late Mrs. Every week, so. day. We <laughs> yeah. all play every but Yeah, yesterday was the birthday. Yeah. Homeboy 39, if y'all wanted to know. Yeah. So we have 39 been, years, freaking young. We're the same age for 10 whole days. Yeah. And 10 whole days. That's it. And then I'm going to climb up a little higher. <laughs> So you going up a little bit high up there, up, up, that, up that age mountain. Up that upper room, man. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, if you are not a family member, which means you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Yeah. Go ahead and rate the video. Thumbs up, thumbs down. At this point, it doesn't even matter. You've already been counted. That's right. So... I will say this episode right here was a really really good episode. I didn't really expect good. it to have so many layers, but yeah. we will get into it. It was a whole lot of good wisdom. Your passages have been paid. Okay, yep. so we start off when we see Dala. She's in the bed, and I said, "Oh, did he piss your bed up too?" But he did. What happened was she's actually having a moment where she's thinking about all the stuff that's going on with the raw thing, the blue thing, her mm -hmm. mama, CPS. I mean, all of that's going on. And you can tell that she's starting to reflect and has some kind of doubt about the way that things are being handled exactly. right now. So she walks out of her um, out of her bedroom and we see her mom, Darlene. Darlene is basically coaching her on how the day is going to progress. This is going to happen. That's going to happen. Mm -hmm. You're going to have a meeting. Don't buck this up because yeah. your sponsor is going to write a great letter that's mm -hmm. actually going to get you what you want in mediation. I said, okay. Then the mama went ahead and started asking questions about, you know, how was such and such down there at the job? Which let me know yep. that mama don't, we, well, we knew, but now we know that mama don't orchestrate it everything down to the job down to your apartment yep. so it means that you are just a puppet on the string when it comes to your mom right exactly. now exactly and number two what pissed me off is that her mama seen that she wasn't doing good and number not one time did she ask her how are you feeling you are you feeling good i noticed that you ain't chipper like you usually this morning but yet she go into this big spiel about how you said how the day is gonna go they don't give a flying flip about how she feel. Mm -mm. Yeah. So, um, we're going to go forward. They get into mediation, right? So, Ra is sitting there. And I said, did Ra have a dead old stroke the whole time? He, he told me his mouth was twisted. Mm. I said, what the hell going on here? Yeah. But that was him doing what Twan told him to do. Uh-huh. Hold your peace. And let the Lord <laughs> fight you back. <laughs> have some restraint. Because you a black dude. The last thing you need to come off as yeah, an angry and, black dude. Yeah. You need to... So I guess that was him holding his peace mm -hmm. and let the Lord fight his battles. Yeah, the twisted mouth was in his anger. Well, <laughs> Darla didn't have a whole lot to say in this mediation because no. her mother yeah, she did all the time. was over there just doing her own thing. I mean, just yep. going in, going in, going in on Ra. So Ra's um, representative was like, you know what? We're actually going to seek Full custody, full custody of this boy. Yeah. So then Dollar's mama comes up with, oh, no, 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 no. He has people in and out the house, different females in and out, and we don't again. even know if he is the biological father of this boy. I said, first of all, did you realize that you're making your own daughter look bad? Exactly. The judge is looking at them like, are we really doing this right now? Yeah. So the judge said, you know what? I need to speak to the parents the parents of this young boy mm -hmm. so i can hear what they need to say basically telling you to shut the fuck up yeah the mama said but he needs to take a test he needs to take the paternity test so that he can prove that he's basically if he's not the real father i don't want to hear skit he got to say ralph angel said you know what well dollar stepped in first and she said you gonna stop talking to, to his father like i that. said thank you and ralph thank angel you said, um I ain't his father. I took the test. But my name is on the birth certificate. And he said, I did my research. I don't yeah. did I don't Google. And yeah. if it's on Google, it got to be true. <laughs> you just can't take him from me. So we hope. <laughs> I said, he said, I might not be his biological father, but I am him his father. I've been there. I've been, I've been taken care of. We provided a stable home for him. Yep. She's been in and out of his life. Yep. And 
I stood by all of this, even knowing that he's not mine, and she broke my heart. Yeah. So that speaks ahead. volumes. Speaks volumes. Cause the first thing, if I was a judge, I'd be like, wait a minute, back up. So you telling me you got a fraternity test, you found out that's not your child, and you fighting for him as if he's your child? I know you got this boy's best interest at heart. I said, but on this side, I'm trying to figure out what's the mama's angle. Why is she so adamant about getting blue? Yeah. Like we talked about a few weeks ago, when she had an opportunity to get blue, when Bala was all strung out, why do you press the issue then if that was your main goal to get that boy? So I'm figuring some kind of benefit in there somewhere for that mama to be adding my with that I'm like, do, yeah, we get a, do we get a check on the side? Yeah, yeah, I mean, something like that. I don't know. Is that an inheritance that got Blue's name on it? I mean, yeah, what I is going on here? Oh, maybe she want to get get Blue to get further control over, over um, Dollar. Because she know once, once she got that, she got every area of her life covered. So then back over there at Dollar's house, we see Darlene. She's playing with the imposter <laughs> of Kenya. <laughs> And I said, go ahead and play with her. She yeah, ain't. you can have her. She ain't the real one. So now she's in her feelings because evidently mediation didn't go the way that she wanted to go. We didn't really see what the decision was or even if there was a decision. Yeah. But all we know was Darlene didn't get to see Blue and she was in her feelings about it. Exactly. And she was like, I didn't get to see him before I left. You know, I will fight tooth and nail to see you happy. And I was like, no, you won't because the girl ain't happy. Or protect you. Yeah. I said... Uh, okay. But your your protection tactics is all based upon what she told Wait, you. And what you want. And we know those crackhead moves always going to tell you their side of the story to get you on their side. And this is the part where she said, you told me all the stories. Yeah. You told me about the people in and out the house. And I yeah. said, hold on, darling. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Can I remind you hey. that you were the one that sat on that porch in that rocking chair and reminded Dollar how manipulative she was and yep. that she came down here and told these good people horrible stories about, about you. Exactly. So now all of a sudden because she's bringing the horrible stories back to you, now all of a sudden the way yeah. is different. Exactly. And you was the one that told her that she needed to be honest with Ralph Angel about the whole situation anyway. <laughs> that you was out there sleeping around why you was out there strung out? Now, What's costing you your man? When I birthed her, said she orchestrated it for you to come back with the bulls. Yeah. <laughs> that what he did. <laughs> so you got so the mom was the one that got this whole thing all in the tailspin because if they had never gave her that advice to do that, which I think she should have had eventually done that. I just think her timing was off. Yeah. You gonna tell that just before you get ready to walk down the aisle? Huh? But anywho, so we see Darlene, well, Darla told us that mama, me and his father. She said, he might not be the bio dad, but that mm -hmm. is his father. We need to work this out, us. Yeah, exactly. Us too. Basically, I, I am done with your services. Goodbye. They yeah. go on back to D.C. But didn't they work it out? At one point, they had worked it out. No. And then that's when Darla came back in with that, with that 70-30. Uh, well, 50, no, 50-50. They had agreed to 50-50. They kind of. Uh, yeah, kind of 50-50. And then actually she talked to her stupid mama, that's when she came back with that 70-30. That was her mama. They want her. That was all her mama, that 70-30. I would say this, and I would say it over and over again. 50-50, it wasn't the time to do 50-50. No. That boy needs to be eased into dollars exactly. under her roofing. Exactly. Let's start with the weekends and let's do summers and let's do all yeah, of that. Exactly. You can't do too much at one time when it comes to a god darn child. Yep. And especially because his footing is the only footing Blue knows. Exactly. His side of the family. Yeah, we've been introduced to the mom and the granddad and all of that, but he don't mm. really know y'all like that. Exactly. And to be honest, does Dollar know Blue like that outside of his father? I don't think he do. I don't think she do. You know, a child is totally different. Exactly. When it comes to being with you by yourself and being with you by yourself. Exactly. And being with us together. Exactly. Trust me, we have a whole bunch of nieces and nephews and them motherfuckers act different with each of us. But she but <laughs> she realized she realized that she ain't at that level yet. That's why she did all that extravagant stuff with Blue. Painting the room, putting up the planets and all that stuff. So <laughs> she trying to appease him with things. 
But Ralph Angel ain't trying to appease him with things, but he trying to appease him with love. Mm -hmm. See, I didn't understand it when I was growing up. See, I, I didn't have the Jordans. You know, I didn't have the ladies. Back then, it was like you jeans and slick jeans. Boss. Yeah, and you know, you had your... Yes. Uh, your British Nikes and all that kind of stuff. You know, you rock their school. See, my mom and them couldn't afford that. But they told me they couldn't afford that. But they was like, I'm giving you real love. And I was like, no, you're not. I don't want it. Yeah, I don't want that kind of love. I want the, I want the new and the greatest. I didn't understand it until I grew up that that skit cost money. And the ones, the majority of the ones that walk around with that skit. They couldn't afford it. They parents was broke as two record players on Christmas. I know they don't make sense. That's why I said that. Cause it don't make sense that the parents was doing that, putting pressure on me and other kids. <laughs> and they mom, yeah, and they mamas couldn't afford, and dads couldn't afford to get that stuff, and then we give them a hard way to go. I would tell you another story, but I'm gonna keep that for another day. <laughs> just say that you felt that too, didn't you? Yeah, just say, just say you gonna be all right. That I ain't eat for like eight hours. <laughs> I woke up one morning. I know that story. Yeah, <laughs> you still pissed off about it, ain't you? Not really. I just you, you know. are you every time you bring it up, you turning burger and everything. You got you got, you got some feeling behind that. Yeah, I'm good though. All right. So Charlie's homegirl. Well, I think her name is Ricky. Rick. We gonna say Ricky. Yeah, man. <laughs> she came up there to Queen Sugar Mill and told Charlie, okay. "Say, hey, I need to let you know something before." It really hit stairway. I know somebody down at the shirt department and that little arson, that fire that happened down at the plantation, your son has come up as a person of interest. Yeah. Charlie was like, Nah, that can't be. Not my she <laughs> said, Not my Michael. Do you know where he was that night? And Charlie was like, like uh Oh no 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 no. Yeah. So next thing we know, we pan over there to the school. Over at the school, the boys and the girl was over there talking. And one of the guys actually got a visit from a detective earlier that day. Mm -hmm. Well, that means that they coming down the pike. Yep. They know something. And they exactly. piece it all together because y'all ain't even smart enough to separate at this point. Exactly. Don't even walk together. Yep. Don't call me. Don't what at me. Don't Facebook. Matter of fact, we're not Facebook friends. No. Nah. So, <laughs> so uh, <laughs> next thing we know, we see Charlie. And Charlie saw Micah and Micah saw Charlie. It was almost like everybody else at this school did like this. Yeah. And Charlie was looking at Micah. And you know Micah when he had that look on his face when he know he guilty, he knew his mom was there for. So they go take a walk around there on the um outside on the sidewalk, which reminded me of that same scene that we had, I think it was season one, huh. where remember when the 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 the, the little sex thing came out and they said it was Michael showing his thing mm -hmm. on text message and she had to yank him up on the guy doing look, sidewalk. Look, look, see, see, I'm going to tell you why, why kids show off now and these days. Oh God. Cause see, back in the day when parents came up to the school, they weren't all made up like, um, Charlie was makeup, eyeliner, all that stuff. <laughs> Them motherfuckers came now in a bathrobe. <laughs> Had that night shirt on Look. with a pair of jogging pants on. And holding yep. it like this. Yeah, holding it like that. <laughs> and God forbid if they had to come from work. <laughs> Your aid was grass. I so, I'm trying to provide yeah. you and I got to get somebody to come. You know, back then there wasn't no such thing when they were in PTO. Yeah. Want no paid time off. So every hour they off the clock, they won't make no money. So they was going to take that out on your aid for every time they didn't make. And they're going to make sure when they came to the school that they was going to embarrass you to make sure that you won't going to show off never ever again. See, parents ain't like that no more. Nah. They don't show up like that no more. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We need them old parents back, man. <laughs> I'll great tell the story, but she can hear me. <laughs> <laughs> so, Charlie basically let, yanked him up on the sidewalk was like, did you do anything? So he had the dumb look at first, and then he went on and confessed. He said, you know what? It was an accident, but basically, me and my friends, we got together, and we was going to make this statement, and we were going to do this. She said, no, 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 no. Bring your hind paws home immediately. I said, oh, he driving? I didn't realize yeah, he was I driving. Yeah, I didn't think he was driving. Yeah, still driving. He told her, he said, I'm going to go to uh, Aunt Nova's house. Because, I, and Charlie said, excuse uh, me? He said, I'm going to Nova's house because she actually listens to me, not like you do. 
she grabbed that joker and he gonna snatch back. Huh? And I said, Charlie. And I Charlie, said he's still alive? Charlie. He will tell her them are my friends. And I'm going to a noble house. And the first thing I thought about was, what you ain't gonna do Hang. is bring up this whole Nova thing when Charlie just got over a Nova thing. Uh-huh, uh -uh, exactly. What you're not gonna do <laughs> is tell me now, she, shoot, I ain't gonna say she took my took a man, but kinda, you mess around she with did. an old man. Yeah. And now, you get to have my son? Yeah. No, no, that's not what we gonna do. Now, now the part that I thought that she really was gonna murder him on the spot, when, when she told him, don't you hang out with them kids no more. She said, these are my friends, and that's Bull's kid. I said, Michael. Like, is that, what? I told I told Lynette, I said, if I had tried some skit like that with my mama back in the day, I wouldn't exist right now. I wouldn't be on none of these reviews. <laughs> I wouldn't be married to her because I'd be six feet under or in back of a hearse years ago. See, I told you, don't make parents like they used to, man. Mm -hmm. put, put foot in your hand. So listen, we know we see Micah over there at Nova's house. And he's having a good old conversation <laughs> on with her. And I said, I like this moment right here. Because have you ever had that moment where you talking to somebody and you just know that they going to be 100% on your side. They going to back you up in your bull skip. And they sit there and they rub you up and they slather you up real uh -huh. good and tell you how good you are. And I'm so proud of what you've done. But what you did was some bull skip. Yeah. She was like, you know what? Basically, your cause was correct, but everything you do, you have to weigh the outcome. Yeah. And what you did was, instead of you shutting something down for people making profit off of what our ancestors have been through and how they lived and, you know, the torture and all of that, now you ended up destroying our history. Yeah. So, therefore... People like me, I can't even go there anymore mm -hmm. to feel our ancestors, to be mm -hmm. able to see what happened. You know, things like that. So, you thought you were stopping something. No, you don't went ahead and destroyed Destroy. something. Yeah. So, I said, oh, oh, yep. okay. So, so we're going to get through the old Micah. And, you know, he's like a brick wall right now. Yeah. You can tell it's getting through, but he ain't. He just yeah, stone he, Yeah, he like, I said, my, okay. in his mind, I did a good thing. Yeah, I mean, he's uh, a good thing went it. wrong. Yeah, that's in his mind. Like we always say, no guidance at all. Yeah. And basically, I wish she could could have admitted that maybe I should have been more present when I saw that this was the route you were trying to go. She knows this area of expert. I mean, she yeah. knows this. Yeah, she so knows how far it can go. Yeah. So yeah. why didn't you step in when you saw your nephew starting to go down this path of righteousness and for the people and all of this? But I think it goes back to what we were talking about a few weeks ago is that sometimes you can't get in the way of somebody else's path. Sometimes people have to learn on their own because you go to some jail. People. No, but listen, when you <laughs> go to somebody and give them some advice to tell them what they should do and what direction they should go because you done been there. Unsolicited advice sometimes makes people get mad at you and they still go ahead and do what they want to do. That's true. So it's like it may be a mic of them had came to her and was like, this is what we trying to do on Nova. We understand you got experience in this for years. What you think about this? Uh -huh. But unfortunately, we get canceling after we don't bucked up. Uh -huh. Such is life. Yeah. So even Nova um, shared this little tidbit with him, and she was like, "You know, <clears throat> your Nova has made some mistakes as well. I haven't yeah. always done everything right." And he was like, "So what are you talking about?" And she was like, "You know, basically, someone went to prison behind." me doing some things that weren't right. Yeah. He was like, what? She said, that weed that Too Sweet was caught with was my weed. Yeah. So Michael was like, but it was only weed. But she said it was only illegal. Yeah. So no matter what what, what scale and what gauge you exactly. put that on in the state, it's still illegal. illegal. And, and this boy jail. took the fall <clears throat> for something that was mine. My so I'm sitting here like, oh, so that's, that's why. why she was so loyal to him. Not yeah. to say that she yeah. wouldn't have been, but there it was It made like, her more committed to yeah. helping him out. Yeah. So I said, okay, no, but that day gonna talk that um I had where well, her got her she found it herself. Uh, yeah. <laughs> because what had happened was she got um a message that the New Yorker, they ain't really feeling her draft. They like the stories. They mm -hmm. they 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 can dig it. Yeah. But they want to hear about 
what you, you, you been through. Yeah, exactly. Let's let's hear how it affected you. Let's hear some stuff about you. Well, that's when we figure out that Nova, she has a whole lot of skeletons in her closet. One mm -hmm. starting with what's the guy named Charlie? No, what the name? Calvin. Calvin, yeah. She got a whole lot of truths. I like she those needs. Calvin I she got a whole lot of truths that she need to come out. So she can't act like she's this person that nothing has, you know, that she, she hasn't done any wrong. Exactly. You know, she, just as much as anybody else got scared, you got it too. And that's what the New Yorker was like. That's what I want you to do. I mm -hmm. want you to tell your truth mm -hmm. and your experiences. And next said, we know, we see Nova go over there and she holler at Too Sweet. Too Sweet look nice. Too yeah, sweet. cut his hair and everything. I yeah. say, okay. I said, this uh -huh. don't even look like the same boy. Got no, a little low about himself. I said, okay, Too Sweet. And she sat down and she told Too Sweet, she said, listen, I need to say something to you. The reason you were in prison was my fault. And he was like, what you talking about? And she was like, that weed, that red head was my weed. So y'all yeah. remember red used to come to the house yeah. and get the stuff from her. Exactly. So evidently red was actually That's getting, right. We didn't see red in a long mm -hmm. time either. He was giving it to Too Sweet so they can do what they do. And this is what Too Sweet took accountability for his own skit too. Yeah. He said, you know what, Nova? They ain't got nothing Man, to do with you. That was my decision. I made a decision to do what I I did. took that risk. And this is what I had to deal with. Mm -hmm. I'm good. But you, you write your book. Tell your truth. Yeah. Hey, it's 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 good. We can dig. I said okay. And with too sweet doing that, I know he it changed. Set her free. Yeah, set her free, and I know he changed. Yes. I because said, when okay. you when you can admit that you were responsible, that's the first step to freedom. Hello. Oh, freeing yourself when you can admit that I was wrong, even though you feel like you was right. Exactly. Yeah. So, let's continue on. I think let's go to the um Mama Boudreaux. Mama. Oh. Well, first, did this happen first? I don't know. It don't even matter. Some kind of way, word don't got out to the farmers. Now, Charlie got to deal with all this sketch. She got to deal with her son possibly going to jail. Now, the farmers are starting to hear about this private jail. And they were like, you know, we need to organize and we need to fight back. Because, yes, it goes through, you know, a voting process. But it also goes through a public voting process as well. Yeah. We can actually fight back on that one. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, Charlie said, you know what? I can go ahead and I'm going to handle that. Over there, Miss, uh, over there, Mama Brudro, she's sitting down with Charlie. She's basically saying, this is how it's going to happen. My brother's not going to know what hit him. Mm -hmm. Because he thinks that you are a solid um a solid person that's sitting in a chair, but he doesn't know that you actually have shares enough to actually speak up yeah. in the meeting. So we're going to blindside him. And she started telling her story, which was very parallel to how Charlie's story went. Yeah, very and parallel. she was like, I'm so sick and tired of trying to prove <clears throat> something to my dead daddy. Said I had to sit there and listen to a will being read out where he actually gave almost all his stuff to an ungrateful brother. Undeserving that, brother. Undeserving brother. Say, wow. When I was the one who has to pick up all the pieces and do mm -hmm. all of this, and I'm still trying to prove to him and trying to make him proud, even in death. And Charlie was like, sound that like, sounds familiar. Yeah, it sounded like what her daddy gave the gave all that Everything man in the house to Ralph Angel. <laughs> but we get into the meeting, and everything, you know, they had a shirt there. He's giving his... This is what's going to happen. This is how we're going to keep them in. We're going to let them out till we want them to be out. So Sam was like, yeah, we can go ahead and do this. And Mama Brudro was like, but we need to go ahead and vote on this. Let's go ahead and vote on this. He said, oh, no need to vote. We voted three days ago. Oh, this, why? I was, I'm just showing you this out of courtesy. Say like, what? Charlie said, oh, no, 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 no. The bylaws say. Hey. He said, fuck the bylaws. Yeah. I let the bylaws in my house and the bylaws buck my husband. <laughs> Buck the, the bylaws. <laughs> we ain't got nothing. Mama Brucho said on that no. I have said, to go. we done. I'm going back to my office. I'm like, oh, hell no. And I'm still confused. You keeping your tail right here because this was all your plan. And Charlie, like, she was about to have a panic attack. Yeah. And I'm sitting here like, what happened? What happened? Did 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 she set her up? Yeah. Or did or, or did, are they being railroad? Or did, uh, what you call it, um, the one that she got the shares from, did he yeah. give them a heads up? Like, what in the everlasting happened here? I'm still trying to yeah. figure this out. Yeah. Y'all probably have watched other people's reviews and probably seen, you know, you know, heard what they think. So I can't wait to hear what my other um fellow YouTubers got to say about that too. I don't I don't, I don't even know what to take from this. But you might but you know what? I think about this. Maybe Sam didn't trust the sister. 
that maybe he figured that she would try to do something undermining because I'm pretty sure she done showed some disinterest that she don't like the fact that he got everything that he didn't deserve. And maybe he was like, you know what, let's not include her to make sure that this go through. Sam Landry is, he, he, he is, conniving. He is famous for bringing you at a table. Yup. And making you think you're a part of the planning process. Yep. And making you think that you have a voice, but you really don't. Remember when they did that to Kiki when she was trying to be, um, yep. What was it, a sugar princess, a sugar queen, or something like that? They did, they did it to Charlie too. And this they is the second time they yeah. did it to Charlie. I'm sitting here like, here we go again. So Charlie had to go back and report to the farmers, hey, it's, it's gonna happen. It's a reality. It's gonna be a reality. And they said, nope. If we organize, we can actually push this back and let's see mm. what we can do. Say, we may have to get some farmers as far as North Carolina. I said, do what you gotta do. And if, I ain't even gonna say. Oh. I ain't even gonna say. <laughs> How? No, I ain't even gonna go there. What you talking about? <laughs> y'all can't do skit on your own until you wanna do skit on your own. Yeah. Or in other words, you ain't ready to organize until it affects you. Look, I won't try to say it. Yeah, but that's you that. I mean, but that I mean that's that's how a lot of us roll. It's see. like, you know, I don't care yeah. that this one ain't can't eat and this one ain't making it until I ain't making it. Then I now I want everybody to gather together. No, no, matter if we don't get people gather gather around when we need, we just throw up a go for me. But uh, roll camera. Okay. <laughs> Aunt Vi is actually ha she's actually being kind of like job shadow. This um, I guess she's a journalist. She's actually. I didn't know how to feel about it, to be honest, because she was like, you know, I get to see some of Vi's secret recipes, and I'm like, I'm like, you ain't getting that secret. I said, this is too early in the game for y'all yeah. to be over top of Aunt Vi's shoulder and all of this, and the whole time I was like, Aunt Vi, don't let your, don't let your lupus flare out right now, because yeah. no one needs connections. Don't let your people. secret, don't let your secrets out the bag either. Yeah, but it went off without a hitch, you know, and she was actually introducing her assistant. Well, I don't know if she's her assistant or what she is really, but her right hand girl. Yeah, you know, she was like, you know, I have the opportunity to help other people people that have been riding down for me yeah you know good opportunity the girl tastes her pies and she loved it she didn't taste it she put it in her mouth y'all know how they do on the cooking show mm, mm -hmm. this is so delicious you ain't even swallowed yet yeah it's got the hit right here in the back of the throat and, and that lemon chest gotta go you know yeah <laughs> she ain't do none of that so i won't convince so you know so i guess that's gonna be good we ain't see hollywood nah we ain't see we ain't see, we ain't see hollywood we ain't see blue we ain't get to see Rebbe. Yeah. We ain't get to see him. Good, good. But then who? Next. I don't know what that was, but um. I don't either. It's tired. <laughs> That's what it is. It's tired. So, um, blah, blah, blah. Aunt's Mama Teresa. <sighs> oh, she got with a vengeance. Yeah. She don't want her boy to go down mom, by herself. Yeah, she's a mama that doesn't mm -hmm. think that it's fair that she knows that y'all thick as thieves. Why is my son the only one behind bars right now? And she's trying to trip those boys up to admitting yeah. that at least they were there. Because she's mm -hmm. going to snitch. And homeboy, the one with the real tight fro, he was like, we won't dare. I'm sorry about what happened. We could try to get her, get him a public a lawyer, you know, attorney or something. We can raise some money. We can get this. But we won't dare. And the whole time, Michael was sitting there like he was about to ready to just blur it all out. Beans, yeah. He want to free himself. And homeboy was like... What he mean is we're sorry that everything has happened to Aunt. Yeah. You know, we're writing him a letter. But her mom was like, wait a minute, y'all been thick as thieves right here. Now all of a sudden this y'all ain't together? Uh uh. Something ain't right. Nope. <laughs> so you know things are really bad. When Charlie had to call Davis West. Yeah, when I seen him, I was like, Oh hell. I said, underbite is here. Like, oh boy. So he I came. said you should have called Hollywood over there. Yeah. That's what you should have called over there. So, Charlie was like, Davis, basically, this is the time for you to talk to your son. Because I had tried to talk to him. I don't know what's going on with him. And he said, well, why do you think that this will be a good time for me to talk to him? Because he ain't speaking to me right now. He, nope. She said, he needs to hear from somebody that has messed up so bad that it can't be fixed. I said, oh, God, yeah. no. If that want to read within yes. itself. Mm -hmm. That was powerful. And the only thing he could do was take his home parts mm -hmm. and talk to Micah. And he basically told Micah, he said, this is bad. This is real bad. I'm proud of you for standing on your own two feet and fighting for something that you believe in. But basically, like Nova said, 
everything is going to come with its own consequences. Exactly. And <laughs> you're going to have to face the music about what this outcome is going to be. And Michael went ahead and told his piece. I was like, is anybody going to put this boy in some kind of therapy? Really? Yeah. So he's saying, basically, he went balls to the wall with this whole thing because he was sick of feeling powerless. After yeah. this whole thing happened with mm -hmm. the police officer, he just felt like he was a professional victim. Mm -hmm. He didn't have a say-so what happened to him, how mm -hmm. he felt. This way, I felt like I was in control and I had power. Yeah. And he was like, oh, daddy, you ain't even heard. He's appealing the decision of you know losing his job, so this ain't even over. Yeah. And Davis was just told him, say, yeah, I'm proud of you, but yeah, and I found the decision that you made. Yeah, so. But he did get through to him, though. He did. Yeah, he did get So, yeah. next thing we know, we see um, Charlie, she goes and she crawls into bed with Micah. Micah's not asleep. He can't sleep. Got too much on it. And they basically had that moment of silence where there was a message without even speaking. Mm -hmm. You know you bucked up. Mm -hmm. I'm your mama and I love you. And even he said it. He said, I messed up, mama. I messed up. I messed up. And both of them got to crying, and I said, what the hell does this mean for Micah now? Yeah. But at the, at the same time, all of us done, done made some bad, bad decisions. Even when we young, even when we old, old, some of us still make bad decisions. So that's what that's what Micah did. He made a bad decision. I hope that he don't have to pay the full price. He don't have to pay the, the black person's price. Yeah, yeah. For, for, that, for that mistake, you know. But... Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, so we, we're going to keep <clears throat> out. Y'all keep Mike in your prayers, man. Yeah. Straight from the VA. Dirty, dirty, dirty south. Two up. Two down. Holla.